Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel, Shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahat Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle with King David. 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations. And to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So we out here again, through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, prophesies the downfall of this place, this kingdom, daughter of Babylon, the daughter of the Chaldeans, Idumia, Basra, you know what I mean? And clearly, you should be able to see see what's going on now. The truth is springing up, man. The truth of what's going on in the world and who's running the world and the truth of what's going on in, in the scriptures is springing up, man. Because you will have, in a situation, everybody going crazy over, over Kanye West, right? So, yeah, he told a little truth, but he ain't telling the whole truth. He not going to go in there and, like I was watching the Elder elder Yashawamba um, them camp by the Dallas, you know, earlier today. But he's not going to go in there and, and tell you that they're the um, Idumians. They're not, they're not, they're not um, the ish people over there. He's not going to tell you that they're the Idumians. They're a tribe of Amalek. He's not going to tell you that. You know what I mean? And so you have Ice Cube come out. And he said, I don't want nothing to do with Kanye West. I don't want nothing to do with that. Because why? Because he know if he co-sign what Kanye say, they gonna fuck with his money. So by him coming out and saying that, scared as hell, where, where, where's the niggas for life attitude at? <laughs> where's the niggas for life at attitude? You know? Where's that attitude at? It just shows you and it proves to you that Kanye ain't right. Hey, let's get into some scriptures though. <laughs> it just right there just... <coughs> His reaction, what happened to Nick Cannon, is proof that Kanye telling the truth. Which if you got half a damn brain, you should be able to see that. We gonna start out with Psalms 84 and 11. The truth, the truth is coming up. But who's not going to apologize when they tell you something out the scriptures and tell you what's going on in, 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 in the world and filter it through the scriptures? The true men of the Lord not going to go backtrack. That's why you got uh, one body out here talking about Esau not the devil no more. Esau not wicked. <laughs> he had an epiphany, an epiphany all of a sudden that Esau not wicked. This Psalm chapter 85, verse 8. I will hear what power the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to follow. Surely his salvation is nigh. Them that fear him, that glory may dwell in their land, in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. <laughs> Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Turn, truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from the heavens. Yeah, truth springing out of the earth, man. Sooner or later, all lies gonna be all lies gonna be revealed, man. You tell a lie, man, a lie can only hold but for so long, man. Like you see them scrambling now, whatever the case may be, you got everybody saying some of everything, you know what I'm saying? But clearly, you know, you'll go, what is anti-sem? S-E-M, what is anti-sem? Then you go to the scriptures, and you see that Noah had three sons, 
Ham, H-A-M, Sim, S-H-E-M. So where does they get, where do they get Sim from? S-E-M. They made it up. <laughs> it's a fabrication, man. And Jaffa, that was the other son of uh, no, ja Jaffa. So, so you can only keep lies, you can only keep the truth here, but for so long, man. Matter of fact, let's get this one. The truth is coming out, man. They cannot stop the truth, man. They cannot stop the truth. But they gonna use, they gonna use Kanye. This is exactly what, how they gonna use Kanye. They use, they gonna use Kanye to come out and say just enough stuff to where they could label him and anybody that says anything remotely similar to what Kanye says. Anybody that come out and say anything remotely to what Kanye said is gonna be named anti-sim. Speaking hate speech. I just did a um, lesson the other day on seven or eight rabbis, and the list goes on and on and on and on, man. I done did plenty of lessons on the wicked shit of the so-called, they so-called rabbis that's sexually molesting people, women, little boys, little kids, all around the world, man. I did several lessons on it. I called it Law and Order, the um, rabbi edition. Them people are not the true people of the Lord, man. They are not, man. Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared yet. The men of the Lord is standing. Let's get this one. Hebrews. I think it's Hebrews. Hebrews 1 and 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Power, who at sundry times and diverse manners spoke in past times unto the fathers by the prophets. Exactly. So the Lord sends his true men out here that he is dealing with, that the spirit, that the Rakat Kodash, the, the spirit of truth, understanding, knowledge of what's going on in the scriptures, he sent his, his true men out here at the end of all, all um, um, errors, eons, civilizations. He sent his men out here to tell people what's going to happen, man. What's that one? Yeah, let's get let's get it let's let's read one and two again. Hebrews chapter one verse one. Power who at sultry times and in diverse manners spoke in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So that tell you right there is many words. So when the Christian will go to John 3.16, I see vocab breaking going into John 3.16 and how Isaiah um, 45 and 17 because it says, um, matter of fact, let's read. That's more truth springing for. So he'll say this don't mean what it, it don't mean that Israel is a world unto themselves. 45 and 17. And it just means, you know, just like the um the end of a world, like you read in 2nd Edris 6 and 9, for um Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. It don't mean that the earl is literally gonna end. We know that by Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. So we know that the world is not gonna end the whole world, just his world, his era, his age, right? Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with, the, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded 
world without end. That means that the world of Israel, once it gets started, is not going to have no end. But it's still talking about the era, the age, the time frame of Israel. Matter of fact, you can get that with Daniel 7 and 14. Thirteen, Daniel 7 and 13. I saw in the night vision and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, a world without end. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that sh that which shall not be destroyed. So pretty much once um, the, the world of the Israelites start, it's not going to be an end to it. So again, still, we read in um, Hebrews, the first chapter, that is multiple words. <laughs> like I said, the truth, man, the truth is springing up, man. The truth is springing up. Deuteronomy 33 and 29. As I was coming up here, I was like, man, I, I, you know, you be out here in 100 degree weather. It's, six, it's 69 or 70 degrees or whatever it is right now. I'm like, shit, that's cold. <laughs> I know how them, them brothers in, in Los Angeles be feeling. It be 60 degrees, the 60, 70 degrees. They be having on winter caps and toboggans and all that. Let's get, um... Deuteronomy 33 and 27. The eternal power is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. So that goes back to them people over there, the 1948ers, the Belfort Declaration, is how they got back into Jerusalem, right? So now, if they are going to, do, if the Lord put them back in there, they're supposed to dwell in safety. They just said, no, we're not going to send Ukraine no, no weapons because they holding all their weapons for themselves. They got an iron dome. They got a nuclear arsenal. Why? If they, if, if look, look, let's read what the scriptures say. Deuteronomy 33 and 28. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down, drop down dew. So if Israel gonna be dwelling alone in safety and all of that, why do they need to have all of these weapons? Why do they need all of these weapons? Because they know they're not the people, man. They know they not the people. They just gonna keep uh, perpetuating it to the uh, masses. You know, like how you see a thread, uh, you got a thread in a sweater, a nice knitted sweater. You got a piece of thread in the sweater and you pull that thread, the whole sweater will mess around and unravel. This is what'll happen if they come up off that line finally that they not the people of the Lord, man. They running around here, oral circulation, oral um, circumcision, not circulation, oral circumcision, where they cut, they when they circumcise a baby, the rabbi puts his mouth on the baby's penis, you know what I'm saying, to stop the bleeding. Where is that in the scriptures at? <laughs> where is that in the scriptures at, man? Where is that in the scriptures? 
because clearly Leviticus say that you should you don't supposed to eat eat blood. Where is that in the scriptures at? These are not the people of the Bible, man. They are not the people of the Bible, man. 33 Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency, and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. They shall be found liars unto thee, man. They're liars, man. <laughs> They're our enemy, man. We were sold into the hands of our enemy, man. And who owned the slave ships? Who the the um who owned the slave ships? Took um make maintenance the slave ships, um and, and sell the slave ships to small hats. They the ones that that benefited the most from it. They are our enemies, man. Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Yeah. We gonna tread upon their high places. The Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, all these heads is going down, man. They going down. They going to be the first one. Matter of fact, let's get that. They going to be the first one to go into captivity. This place going to be smoke, man. So we not worrying about you rednecks in Alabama, man. We ain't worrying about you rednecks in, um, out there in Johnson County out there where y'all was proud of being um, uh, one of the first um, counties with the KKK and all of this. We not, we not worried about y'all, cause this place gonna get smoked, man. Babylon gonna get smoked, man. This place gonna get smoked. That's why you come out here and you work, cause you know that he owned the, when, when the Lord come back pursuing the Matthew 24 and 30, Elder Apostle Gabar's favorite scripture, I think he quote that scripture or read it just about every lesson he do. He only going to gather his elect, man. I endure all things for the elect's sake, man. When he come, when when the Lord come here, and only people making it out of here is the elect, man. Period, man. Point blank, period. So back to it. We not worried about you, rednecks. That 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 the racist can't. We ain't worried about y'all. We ain't worried about y'all. Psalms chapter 149 and 5. <coughs> Four, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written dishonor have all ye the saints praise ye the lord yeah they going into captivity man the first people that's going to go into captivity is the elite the ones that's going to dig themselves down got all of these Bunkers and all of this shit. We going to get them, man. We going to get them. They coming up out of there. Luke 8 and 17. They coming up out of there. <laughs> they is coming up out of there. They is coming up out of there. Yeah, Luke 8 and 17. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking red letter. For nothing is secret that shall be shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Yeah. All of the secrets, all of the things, all of the things that they done hidden, high over in Russia, they the um the the um they they didn't get they didn't fully um um, Renaissance ever change up 
put nuclear, um, not nuclear, put chemicals on um, the, the icons and all of this type of stuff. So it's still proof of what the, the apostles, it's still pictures, proof of what the apostles and the prophets and the men of the Lord and Yahweh Shai look like. A brother just went to Spain not too long ago. He went to Spain and they had in in a in a stain in the um stained glass mirror uh, uh, window up there, they had um coats of arm and they had a cross in it. And the coats of arm, the pictures was all um so-called black faces, right? So one in the middle they didn't change. This one over here, you can see where they put some chemicals on it or chip the color out of it, but you can still see the edges of it. But in this one right here, they didn't change it. They left it. Right? Why? Because the Lord put the spirit on them to leave that. And so the brother went over there. The brother said when he get off the um, plane and he go traveling and stuff, he prayed to the Lord, you know, to take, to have his eyes open and take him to places and, and make sure he, he he's paying attention when he go to these places to keep his eyes open. And the brother clearly showed it. It's a clear thing. Check out, uh, what's that? Critical race. Um, critical race historical facts. Elder um, Malcolm. Yo, he put up a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons on history, man. Going into all kind of lies, man. All kind of lies that's done been told, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go Isaiah 25 and 7. Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in his mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Yeah, man. When the Lord comes, it's 18 biblical nations according to the scriptures. The only one that's allowed to say that they are the people of the Bible is the small hats over here. What about the other 18 nations, man? Right? What about the other, what about the other um, 17 nations of the scriptures, man? They the only ones, think about it. They the only people that can say, oh, we know who we are, which don't fit the, the scriptures, man. They controlling the legal system. They controlling the media. <laughs> they controlling the entertainment system. They controlling politics. They controlling our governments, governments all around the world. They controlling the IMF bank, bankers. They controlling all of these things, but they the people that's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 25 and 7 And he He will destroy in his mountain The face of the covering cast Over all people And the veil that is spread Over all nations Yeah man You are who you are according to your father Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 Man All of this mixed seed Of this this Australian or this or that, or, ah, 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 this is all made up shit, man. Esau made up, man. All names that Esau made, even African, is something Esau made up. So you can't be African and American. That's not in the scriptures, man. Let's get it. Let's go back. Let's get Genesis. Genesis chapter 9, verse 26. Because you know they worrying about the people of the Lord. What about the, the laws of the Lord, man? Are those people keeping up the laws of the Lord? <laughs> Genesis 9 and 26. And he said, blessed be the Lord power of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. Canaan is a Hamite. 
We can't be Hamites, man. We can't be Hamites. That's another truth that's coming out, man. But my people still refuse to accept that one. They stuck to the I'm African bullshit. Even though the scriptures clearly say this right here. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. Yeah, Jerusalem, man. Not Africa, Jerusalem. <laughs> So if you claiming to be uh, the people of the scriptures that went into slavery or that um, was was here when, when, when Edomites got off the Christopher Columbus, the Edomite came off the ships and took over this land, you're an Israelite, man. Your homeland is Jerusalem. When the Lord come back and get us, he's not going to return us to Africa. He's going to return us to Jerusalem, man. <laughs> My peoples, boy. My peoples destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And I understand why. But they reject knowledge. They sure do. They is not trying to hear nothing you coming out the scriptures. They not trying to hear. Let's get the next one. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 1 and Moses called all Israel and said unto them hear O Israel the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day that ye may learn them and keep them and do them the Lord our power made a covenant with us in Haran the Lord made not this covenant with our fathers but with us even, the Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive today. Yeah. Yeah, just look and read, seeing I want to get any more here. 15, going back to we can't be Egyptian. 15, 5 and 15. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, because Egypt is synonymous with bondage. That's Exodus um, 20 and 2. And that the Lord thy power brought thee out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore, the Lord thy power commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Oh, 20, I got to get this one. Neither shall thy bear false witness against thy neighbor. That's for you IUIC heads. That love trying to say, teach that with the with the, with the the great thing, because you don't want to, you got to chop the G off when, when, when we say great. You know what I'm saying? With the great thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what was going on back in them times, man. That's all the apostles was, was, was teaching and telling you correct 100% truth out the scriptures whether your feelings is heard or not so back in them days and you know they made it where it's a bad thing you know what I'm saying like they they put the with the S law and all the SVU vibe all, all on this society or whatever this was what went on back then and it was rules to that man had to pay the um, father 50 shekels but if the woman belonged to another man and the woman cried out when the man touched her, that man would be put to death. But if the woman didn't cry out, she belonged to another man, her and that man would be uh, put to death. You know what I mean? But if she didn't belong to nobody, he had to wife her up. That's your woman now. That's your wife forever. And you can't put her away. It was rules to all of this stuff, man. Right? But IUIC loved to slander, man. Bear false witness, man. Right? So again, this is all of the different truths that's coming out, man. You know, when you get first coming to the to the understanding of what's going on in the scriptures, that particular topic might be one that's hard for you to 
wrap your head around. But then you 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 pray on it, you fast, and then you go look it up. You look into the words. You look into the different translations of the different texts, and you will clearly see what it's saying. <laughs> clearly, you'll see what it's saying. Let's get back to it. Get Revelation 13 and 5. Let's start at 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against power to blaspheme his name and his temple and them that dwell in heaven. That's what they doing, man. The finger of God looks like an Edomite. Serge Ray Borgia, so-called white boy Jesus, looks like an Edomite. His people are portrayed as Edomites. They blaspheme everybody, man. Everybody in the scriptures, man. And then they claim to be, be um, the people of the Lord but then if you got the toe move, if you got the toe move and you looked at some of the things that's going on in the toe move, that shit is just like opposite of what the Torah say. It got in there, you could sleep with a uh you could sleep with a non-Israelite uh, female as young as three years old. <laughs> the stuff in there is wicked. Um, Yahweh Shai is um, in hell right now, burning in, um, burning in, and, and this is how I don't understand why Christians be taken up for them so much. They got that Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, is in hell right now, burning in urine, it's either urine, no it's not urine, it's either feces or, or semen, one of the two, and it might be both of them. But I, I forget which one of the two it is. They took talk real regular, called Mary a hoe. She was a hoe. But then you'll have the Christians taking up for them. Why? Because they running this world. They the Edomites, man. They running this world. We in their kingdom, man. You can't speak out about them. You speak out about them, they gonna take your money. They gonna, they gonna throw, they gonna stop your money up. They gonna tell you to get. You know Kanye, all them billions of dollars. JP Morgan told him he got to move his money. I seen Balenciaga said they not working with him no more. Vogue said they not working with him no more. So how can you be the cursed people when you pulling that kind of weight out here in the world? But meanwhile, they'll push all kind of drugs, killing, murdering, all kind of shit on the true people of the law. You don't see no, you ain't gonna see no um, motherfucking um, so-called ish, ish individual out there. No, no man out there with a BBL. No nails on a BBL. Talk about um, no um, um, no 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 vote no voting no fucking. You ain't gonna see them doing that shit. Revelation 3 and 6. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against power to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. First Micah. First Maccabees chapter three, verse 45. Now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in, yeah, went in or out. The sanctuary also was trodden down. The aliens kept now nothing new under the sun. Listen to what was, listen, listen to what happened. First Maccabees chapter three, verse 45. 
Now Jerusalem lay void as a wilderness. There was none of her children that went in or out. The sanctuary also was trodden down. The aliens kept the stronghold. The heathen had their habitation in that place. And joy was taken from Jacob and the pipe and the harp ceased. Therefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masfa over against Jerusalem for in Masfa was a place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Nothing new under the sun, man. This is what they was doing, man. From, from the very beginning of time, they was painting, trying to portray themselves like we just was reading, blaspheming the Lord, his people, the people in heaven, the angels are white. <laughs> you can't, I mean, it's, it's plain, it's plain. They are not the people of the scriptures, man. They are not. And he opened Revelation 13 and 6. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against power to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, the Israelites of the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. Who running the world right now? power over everybody man who's running the world right now man <laughs> and all that dwell upon the earth eight revelation 13 and 8 and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of lamb slain from the foundation of the world yeah they worship these heads man you can't say nothing about them man you can't say imagine man imagine if they let a true man of the lord hypothetically because you know the, the apostles know they not gonna do it but hypothetically apostle to Hall, the apostles went on drink champs. The apostles went on drink champs and they and they was bringing out scriptures, breaking down, breaking down scriptures, bringing up historical facts and all of this and all that. What would be the label that they would put on um, GMS from that point on? What would be the label that they would put on? But in reverse, you could have them go on there, you could have three rabbis, Go on drink champs and say all kind of lies and slander and this and this and that about GMS and won't nothing happen to them. Won't a thing be said to them about it. They would get applauded for um for everything that everything that they said. They would get applauded. That right there should show you who's in control of the world. And at the end, when the Lord come back, he's going to put down his kingdom, man. Even the elders said, they done had, we in the revised Roman Empire now. He said, Israel was ruling for 40 years under King Solomon. 40 years. These heads that had two turns at it, and both times, look at what's going on now, man. Look at what they teach the kids in school, man. They teach in junior high schools how to masturbate and this and that and all this crazy shit. Man, that motherfucker know. This is what's going on here. You could get your breast cut off in your teens. You could get your rod cut off in your teens. Operation is, was a dude over there in Finland or Dutch or one of, them, one of them countries over there. He talking about how they taking uteruses out of um, teenage girls. And they'll say this medical misinformation, but it's facts, it's true. 
It's really going on. I'm on a strike right now, a two-week strike for medical misinformation. And I'm like, I know I ain't out here saying, oh, don't do this, don't do that. You can't even discuss the things that's going on. Know why? Because we got the truth, man. It's back to it. Psalms chapter 73 verse 17 Until I went into the sanctuary of power Then understood I therein Right? Because before I understood this truth I didn't know what was going to happen to the, What was going on in the world What was going to happen to the so-called white man The Edomites The small hatters over there Until I went into the sanctuary of power Then understood I therein Surely Thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, they are utterly consumed with terror. Yeah. So we understand what's going to happen. Man. That's why we not out here. We don't have to advocate violence, man. We don't have to. We don't have to advocate violence. And, and us coming out the scriptures and, and telling you historical facts is anti-something. We reading the scriptures, man. 18 biblical nations. All this, 120 nations and all of this. 18 biblical nations, man. They changed that up. Who did that? Who did that? that Job 9 and 24 the earth is given until the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he where and who is he then who came up with all this pseudoscience that the earth is a billion years old man that there's three classifications of race. Negroid, Caucasoid, Negroid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid. Who came up with this shit right here? Who came up with this, man? Who came up with Christianity, man? Who gave you white boy Jesus, man? Sir Dre Borgia. Who did all these things, man? Who painted the finger of God up there, man? God naked with little naked little kids hanging on his ankles. Who did that, man? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who, where and who, who is the judges? The, the judges on the earth. The true men of the Lord. He tell, he'll tell you that we not the true men of the Lord. That they the true men of the Lord, man. Drinking blood from baby penises, man. Even though in Leviticus, which they say they Torah, but um, Leviticus clearly says that you don't supposed to drink or eat blood. Clearly. So Elder Yashwan was talking about it. Man, you will put people in a room without no cell phone where they can't Google, and you start asking them, what's sin? What is sin? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You start asking these people questions, they won't have a clue, man. You see the little video where this dude go around asking people questions like, how many states are there? <laughs> what language do they speak in Iowa? And heads can't get that right. You get to asking them some biblical questions and they can't Google, they can't um, duck, duck, go it, man. Please, they not gonna get none of that shit right, man. But know who will get it right, though? Let's get it, let's get this one. Hmm. 
Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely, Lord Power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophet. Yeah. The Lord revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets, man. So they know what's going on in the scriptures. You're not going to be able to fool us with the whole anti-this, anti-that. Who is the true people of the Lord? You're not going to be able to fool us with that. Because we understand what's going on, man. We know who that, what their true, true nationality is, man. They are Amalekites. A tribe of, of, a tribe of the Edomites, period, point blank. They're not Israelites, man. They're not. Keep getting. Let's keep getting. They're not. The truth is out, man. The truth is out. Isaiah 26 and 26 and 9 with my soul have I desired thee in the night yea with my spirit within me will I seek thee early for when thy judgments are in the earth the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness and that go back to what I was saying if they was the true people of the Lord that would turn back into um into into um the, the land over there wouldn't the earth be in righteousness now the earth would be in righteousness now they wouldn't be talking about nuclear armageddon and all of that they wouldn't be talking about that nuclear war and all of this and, and all of this other shit that's going on and, and drill music and all of this crazy shit the, the earth would learn righteousness. You were supposed to be able to learn righteousness from them. They supposed to be a nation, a kingdom, a kingdom, a, a nation of kings and priests, teaching the other nations to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible perfect. So that way, the world would be running righteousness. They not doing that. They not doing that. They leading the way with perversion, man. And benefiting from it, man. Tw um, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Yet, he, the wicked is not going to change, man. He was created to be wicked. Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness. Matter of fact, let's get that. We outside. <laughs> we, out, we outside. We ain't got nowhere to rush to. Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. They did that the dark ages was when they were subdued. The Moors was in, in um the Moors was in Europe. Japhet, um, Japhet, the Japhet tribes, your Polynesians and all of that was over there and Magog over there and all of these other places. And they was up in the mountains, man. Caucasus Mountains, Mount Petra. So then they came down after they was ran up into the caves. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. It's all in the scriptures. It's all in the scriptures. Let's go Job 30 and 3. For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness, 
in former time desolate and waste, right? In former time desolate and waste, fleeing into the wilderness. Who lives in the wilderness? Who is a cunning hunter? Genesis um, um, 20, 25th chapter. Who was a cunning hunter? A man of the field who cut up marsh, marshes by the bushes and juke the roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as at the thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they prayed, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of basement. They were violent in the earth. Yeah, see? Scriptures clearly say they was drove, they was driven away because they was they was crooks, thieves. They didn't have no the 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 they, they had their um hygiene, everything. They was ran up in, into them, up into the mountains. So then they came back down. Let's get it back to Malachi. This one they came back and rebuilt. So we are now in the revised Roman Empire. Started with Italy, then it went to Spain, eventually to um to England, and now America, the revised Roman Empire. The Ocon Iconoclast changed all of the pictures, um, uh, all of the pictures of the of the saints, of the, the people of the Lord. They gave us the small hats, the 1948ers, as the Lord's people. Serge Ray Borgia as his son. The finger of the finger of God as as Yahweh. <laughs> Whereas Edom say we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build but I will throw down and will call and and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever forever the Lord gonna have indignation with them forever man and you see why you see the things that they do man you see the things that they do look at the perversion they push on the world man the energy they have on the world, man. And you know how that that um how that saying go, you can't if you can't beat them, join them. So all of the nations was like, yo, America got the bombs, the nukes, this and this and that. They got they their dollar, woo 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 woo. So what did everybody else do? They got nukes, they got their dollar, and this and they and they got in the game that America was winning at. And so now the nations is tired of it, man. They tired of it. Let's get it. Let's get back to it. Let's get Nahum chapter. Nahum three and four. The book of Nahum three and four. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, that cell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Yeah. So it goes back to what I was saying, all of the nations Followed after the hoardings of the United States, nuclear weapons, stock markets, getting cr creating a paper dollar, and this is this is what this is what went on, man. There was another one that came in. Well, favor Harlot. Let's get this one. Revelation 17. Let's get that. Well, favor Harlot. Let's get that. One, Revelation 17 and one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, this is the um, Apostle John on the island of Patmos, right? And talked with me, saying unto me, come hither 
I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Like I said, going back to the new nuclear weapons, the, the, the alphabet um, committee, uh, the stock markets, paper money. This, this is all of the things that the United States was leading the way, was the only one at one time doing all of these things, man. So then the other nations follow suit. Now they done caught up and now they tired, man. These other nations are tired, man. Especially these other nations that have nuclear weapons now. They're tired, man. So he carried me away in the spirit unto the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of the name of blasphemy, having seven heads. The seven heads are the seven Edomite kingdoms, man. The ten horns are the, the um, original EU nations. I think it was called a League of Nations. The seven, the seven um, Edomite kingdoms, Bab Babylon, um, Roman, Greek, Germania Major, Germania Minor, Spain. I forget the last one. I always forget one of them. But those are the um the, the seven um the um seven heads right there, right? And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was written a name. So like it. And upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth and so and so some people will read this and they can't get the, the understanding of 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 um who, who who the scriptures is referring to here but it's clearly a miracle so we go down let's go let's go down And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and the ten horns. Yeah, because um, Britain, Britain, that's the last one, Britain. So Britain was the was the um the seventh, right? But out of the seventh comes um America. America is pretty much just, you know, they took all. When they sent the, the people here to colonize America, Britain took all the, the they emptied out their jails pretty much. <laughs> they emptied out their jails. They sent the roughest of the roughest people here, here, here to America to set up, right? And if, let's go, let's keep reading. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. That's um, Europe over there, the bottomless pit. And go into perdition and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. And here's the mind which have wisdom, the seven heads the seven heads and seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, and there were seven kings, see? Five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. His time, his time is determined, man. The, time, the, the times of his bounds are set, man. He, his time, he has a set time that he can't go past, man. By the fact is that. 104? Psalms 104. I think it's Psalms 104. Let me see. Yeah, Psalms 104 and 9. Psalms chapter 104 and 9. 
thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. Yeah, the Lord set a bound that they cannot pass, man. The Lord has set a bound that they cannot pass, man. So they time is coming, man. Like the song say, their time limited, hard rocks too. <laughs> their time is limited, man. Yeah, um, 11, Revelation 17 and 11. And the beast that was and is not even is the eighth and is of the seventh. That's talking about America right there. The eighth that is of the seventh. America is Britain. They, you see how they, they go crazy over the fucking king and queen over there. Even he is the eighth and is of the seventh and go up to, into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but received power as king one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength to the beast. Yeah. NATO. The EU. NATO. America. They all like this. <laughs> These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them, for he is the Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful. And he and see again. So if if they are ruling right now, when the Lord comes back and he says he's gonna put these nations down, man, how are they the Lord's people? You can't even talk about them now. So imagine the Lord coming back and trying to have a sit down talk with them, man. Matter of fact, let's get this one. Isaiah, let's get this one. This is how the Lord gonna come back and talk. Let's get this one. Isaiah chapter 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. See, when the Lord come back, you you can't even you can't even go and drink champs and say nothing about these heads that's ruling the world, man. That people say is the um is the Lord's people. So when the Lord come back and try to have a conversation with you with them, what do you you expect them to do, man? The Lord come back to rebuke them, man. He gonna have to come back and tear their ass up, man. <laughs> They not, I mean, it's clear, man. It's clear as day who is and who ain't the Lord's people, man. It's clear as day. These shall make, Revelation 17 and 14, these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall uncover them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful. And he sought, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitting, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. That's the great melting pot of America. The great melting pot here in America. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the horn. Look what's going on right now, man. <clears throat> the pipeline that provide going into the wintertime over there in, in Europe. You know what I'm saying? Over there in Europe, the pipeline that provides all of the um the gas, the both pipelines done been sabotaged. So now you have America, which is happy about the, the situation going on. Your your European nation is not happy about that. France right now is talking about we don't want to be down with NATO no more. Let's read it again. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For power have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of power shall be fulfilled. 
And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Who is that, man? Who is that, man? That's America, that's NATO, that's the EU, and that's these heads over there talking talk about they the small hats, man. You talk about, you say anything to them, it's like you you punch America in the, in the face or something. Oh, how dare you? Let's get on it. Jamie Lee Curtis and, oh, we got to talk about it. And you need to go visit the Holocaust Museum and I got it. The prophecies don't fit them, man, for them to be the people. The prophecies all line up with them being a nation that's ruling this world that the Lord is coming back to look for. That's what the, that's the part of the prophecies they fit. They fit the wrong side of the prophecies. The nation that's going to be judged when the Lord come back, man. And you will never understand that if you're looking at the scriptures through the eyes, through the lens of Christianity. If you're looking at the Bible through the lens of Christianity, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. Just saying, you're not going to see it with Christianity, man. Back to Nahum, chapter 3. And let's go. Let's read 3 and 5 again. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face and i will show the nation thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame and show the kingdoms thy shame watch this one watch this one all over the scriptures man it paints a clear picture man who is and who ain't like 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 um like like um um yasharala he, he prince with power, right? He prince with power, or he prince power, right? So, so that's pretty much the Lord's baby, right? So you remember that song? Is you is, or is you ain't my baby. They not the Lord's baby, man. They are not the Lord's baby. Let's go, and we read nakedness, right? So now, Habakkuk chapter two, verse five, 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink and putteth thy bottle to him and maketh him drunken. We read that in Revelation. Drunken um, with, with the wine of the fornication of, of Babylon, the harlot of all nations, right? And maketh him drunken also that thou mayest look upon, look on their nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Yeah. So they the glory of this kingdom. Ain't that they the glory of this kingdom? <laughs> they're the Lord in this kingdom, they have put themselves up as the Lord's people. All of the Edomites, not just the small hatters, the one, the 1948s, not just them, all of them, all of them, going back even to your little lowest Edomite out there drinking a damn, um, a, a, a damn drinking off a keg of fucking um, Budweiser right now in, in Alabama somewhere. They all say that they the Lord's people. They're not. <laughs> What's that one? What's that one? Oh, I got it. I got it. Back down now and back down on the shadow. Jeremiah 16, 
and 19. Let's get it. Let's see what the scriptures say. Let's see what the scriptures say. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's get some more. Let's get, let's get a little more meat. Jeremiah 16 and 17. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their inequity hid from my eyes. Sin upon sin, inequity. And first I will recompense their inequity and their sin double. So all of the shit they did, they gonna get double. Think about double slavery, man. Think about, think, hold on now, hold on now. Double, right? He gonna, he gonna recompense them double. Double slavery, what that look like? Had they ever been paid back anything for slavery? No. They don't even want to give up reparation. Double, double, what double recompense for slavery look like? Okay, let's move that to the side. What does double what they did to the Northern Kingdom, the native, so-called Native Americans look like when they got hit? The Trail of Tears, man. Smallpox blanket. I did the lesson one time, they said it was anywhere from, I think they said 40 to 140 million so-called Native Americans when they got here, they killed off 90% of them, man. They killed off 90% of them. So that's another almost 100 million tab right there. That's another 200 million, double. That's another 200 million. That's about between slavery and what happened to the so-called Native Americans. That's about 500 million deaths they got to pay back, man. That's double. <laughs> Jeremiah 16 and 18. And first I will recompense their inequity and their sin double because they have defiled my land they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Well, watch this part. 19. Jeremiah 16 and 19. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuse in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Jeremiah 16 and 19. They inherited lies, man. Serge Ray Borgia, the figure of God, the people over there claiming to be us, they inherited lies, man. So as you as you toasting old redneck ass cracker down there in Alabama, Georgia right now, as you toasting, God bless America. I can't stand niggers with the Bible on your lap, thinking that you the Lord's people. I uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things therein. There is no profit. Yeah, all lies, man. All lies, man. Voting. Lies. <laughs> Congress, Congress, uh, senators, Congress and senators, or whatever. Lies. That go back to the Roman shit, man. All lies, man. All lies, man. But then if you say to the, you ask them, is this the revised Roman Empire? Or, or the Roman numerals. They teach you Roman numerals in school. The architect is Roman. <laughs> All lies, man. All lies, man. Back to Nahor. Yeah, man. The truth is coming out, man. The truth of who the Lord's people is and who ain't and what's going to be the end of them, man. What will be the end of them, man? They going to be they going to be toast, man. Cinnamon toast crunch, man. 
they on three and five. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock, and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from them, and say, Nivea, Nivea, Nivea is laid waste, who will bemoan her, which shall I seek comforters for, for thee. Now, Nivea was an um, a old Assyrian capital where they was doing wickedness and cross-dressing and all of this stuff like this. So let's get this one. Jonah, the, the, the prophet Jonah went to Nivea and told them they was going to get it. Where is it at? Yeah, I read through that. I read through this one, Jonah, last night. Let's see. Jonah chapter 1 verse 1. Now the, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amitha, 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 saying, Arise, go to Nivea, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. See? <laughs> now, now watch this. Now, I, this one just hit me. Let's read this one again, right? Arise, go to Nivea, Jonah, chapter 1, verse 2. Arise, go to Nivea, that great city, and cry against it, for her wickedness is come up before me. Now watch this. How you can tie it all in. Yeah, I put on a long sleeve today, man. Because even though, man, you come out here and you think it's not cold and you stand out here, I'm used to sweating out here, man. So I come out here and it's chill. Next thing you know, my voice will be, be um, messed up on Tuesday and Wednesday because I was out here and it was a little cooler than I thought. But let's get back to it. Let's go. Revelation 18 and... Three, right now watch the point is in five but let's start at three so we can get some more some more some more goodness out of this <laughs> revelation 18 and 3 for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy Look at them heads over there, OPEC niggas, man. OPEC niggas is, man, they done got, man, please, man. <laughs> um, OPEC, another Taiwan, everything in the dollar store just about made in Taiwan. And China for that matter, either Taiwan or China. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins, remember what we just read in, um, we just read in, in Jonah, right? Now watch this. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and power hath remembered her inequities, right? That match up with Jonah. Six, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she had filled. She had filled, filled to her double. So again, man, we got all over the place, man. They gonna have to pay back double. They gonna have to give back double, man. What do double slavery look like? <laughs> Double slavery. That's they owe that. That's a debt they owe. Double slavery, man. They owe double, double what they did to North America, the the the, the um the, the so-called Native Americans, man. Trail of Tears and all of that stuff. 
the Indian Removal Act, they owe double that, man. Keep that in mind. Just trying to tell y'all, man. Scriptures do not fit them, man. Let's read 7. Jonah chapter 1 verse 7. And they said, everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, tell us we pray thee for whose cause this evil is upon us. What is thy occupation? And whence thou comest, and whence comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? So he went to Nineveh and he telling them, yo, man, the Lord sent me here, man, to tell y'all, man, y'all doing some wicked shit here. And it done went up, it done reached up to the Lord, man. The Lord's not happy. He's gonna smoke this place. So they like, yo, who are you? Where you come from? Now they say, oh, you're not Hebrew. Yeah. And he said unto nine, Jonah one and nine. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew and I fear the Lord, the power of heaven, which hath made the sea and dry land. Yeah. So he went to he went to never hear to warn them, like, yo, y'all going off, the Lord gonna come to tear this, this place up, man. But then I got this one, look, right? Jeremiah 28, just like, look, so you go nothing new under the sun. So just like before, it's just like now. So so you had a, the, the, the uh, prophet Jonah showing up to Nivea right before it was destroyed, and he's warning the people, right? Then we just, we read that, we started off the lesson with that in Hebrews 1 and 1. And sundry times he spoke to you by to your fathers by the prophets, right? Roughly paraphrasing. Now watch this. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. See? And that, ain't that what they said? Look, go back to Jonah 1 and 8. Watch. Then said that Jonah 1 and 8, then said they unto him, tell us we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thy occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? See? So when the place is about to get smoked, so now fast forward, when we was in um now let's go back to Revelation 18. Let's get let's get a couple more. Let's get let's go back to Revelation 18. The men of the Lord is standing up and we telling y'all that this place is done, man. And and and, and them not them them not being the Lord's people, that I mean that's a big part of the thing, but at the end they gonna get what they deserve, man. So is this something to be focused on all the time? I mean, no. If it come up, yeah, 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 yeah. But Edom as a kingdom gonna get judged. Them too. Not just them, but Edom as a kingdom gonna get judged. Let's get it. Let's get. Let's go back to Revelation 7 and 18 and 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart i sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow this is what they say this is america they got all kind of perversion going on in the military but they still feel their military could cakewalk through anybody this is what they feel in their heart therefore Shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. So now it goes back to Jeremiah 28 and 8, right? 
It goes back to Jeremiah 28 and 8, and it goes back to the prophets coming out and telling the nation what's going to happen to it before it happens. Revelation 8 and 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. See? Judgment is coming to this place, man. And then we read in a couple of places that judgment looked like what? Double what they did. What they did, their inequities double. Reward her double the cup. <laughs> it's plain upon tables, man. It's plain upon tables. Let's get out of here. Let's get over here. Let's get, get some more over here. Let's get some in Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. Let's go back in there. Daniel 7 and 20. Yeah. So if you know anything about history, if you know anything about history and all of the different kingdoms that done fell throughout history, that at the end of each kingdom, the Lord sent his men out here to warn that kingdom what was coming. Clear. Plenty of scriptures to say that. Ezekiel 3 and 17 warned them for me. This is what this is what, what what's happening right now. If you're paying attention, man, that's why they using their puppets. Their chess, they playing chess, they got their pieces. Kanye might not be a necessarily a pawn. Now, okay, maybe he a rook or a bishop or something like maybe he a, a, on the chess. But you know what I'm saying? Right now, they got him out here because they playing chess and they gonna use him. They put him in play on the ball. They got other pieces in play on the board as we speak, man. Daniel chapter seven and yeah, let's get let's start at fifteen, right? So we going we reading about the the, the prophet Jonah going to Nivea, Nivea and telling them what was going on, right? Now here go the prophet Daniel. <laughs> I remember somebody was saying Daniel wasn't a prophet. This damn dummies. Daniel chapter 7 and 15. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit, in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions in my head troubled me because he was seeing the destruction. He was seeing the destruction, the future destruction. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the interpretation of things. These great beasts which are four are four kings. That's the Roman, Babylonian, Roman, Babylonian, Medo-Persian, and Greek, I think. So like y'all could be off with that. You know what I mean? These great beasts, but they're Edomite empires. You know, I might have the names mixed up, but they're, they're, they're Edomite empires. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. Because we in the, the revised Roman right now. That's without a fact. We are in the revised Roman Empire right now. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Shall take the kingdom. Whose kingdom is this right now? Who can you not speak about right now? Who think that they gonna drop their, they, they gonna threaten you with all type of military this and military that now? Who is these people, man? And it says, take the kingdom. 
that sound like force, man. That don't sound like coming back and we gonna all no the, the Lord gonna we the, the 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 Lord gonna take the kingdom from these niggas, man. Acts of me and I shall give thee the heathen. Psalm chapter two, verse eight. Lord, not coming back to fucking plead with these these heads to beg these heads nicely. The Lord coming back to tear this motherfucker up, man. Excuse my French. <laughs> 19, then I would know the truth of the four beasts, which was the 